Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Drentalian, and welcome back to Grim Tales Echo of the Past. This is Act 3. When we last left off, we've discovered that Alexander Grimm's sister was our mother Anastasia. There's not much moonlight tonight, it's difficult to see. Right, that's how this works. Okay, I forgot. Trophy room. Wow, it's a room of different artifacts and trophies from the Grim Sisters' journeys. I'm sure I'll find some magical items here. I wonder if our mother was capable of magic. Alexandra's cameo. Judging by the photo, the traveler's figurines were positioned here. How did they- how much did they experience in their adventures? What a pity it, it ended so abruptly. This ho huge bottle is corked. I think I know a way to open it. Forgot I picked up a corkscrew. Despite being a large bottle, the neck is so narrow that my hand won't fit inside. So just can't just tilt the bottle and dump it all? you are. You look like a cross between a human, a bear, and a goat. 
Seriously, what are you supposed to be? Empty eyes are always a bit scary. Not sure what I need the light for, but okay. Okay, so there's something here. I should find out what happened to my Aunt Alexandra, a famous traveler. I can't continue Ugh. I can't continue traveling without my beloved sister Alexandra. The memory of what happened still haunts me. She gave her life to protect me. I tried my best, but I couldn't do anything to help her. Tweezers for you. I still say it would have been just as easy just to turn it over and dump it. It's not going to fit out on using that method, then it's probably not going to open at all. Or fall out at all, whatever is takes. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay. Oh! That probably took longer than it needed to. Timeless pendant. Ah, I see. Are we ready for this conversation? I hope so. Oh, 
Hello. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Hold on. You look familiar. I imagine we look great, a great deal like you. Are you my... my daughter? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Anna. I'm sorry about the events that brought you here. I didn't think the puppeteer's magic would affect the puppet so much. Yes, I'm the only one who knows what really happened to my sister. Let me tell you about our last adventure. Don't just stand there, Anastasia. Lars's puppet show is about to begin. We've searched for him for so long, we can't miss it now. I hope tickets are still available. We must uncover whatever mystical secret is behind his show. Take this and let's find a way in. Lars's mysterious puppet show sparked mysterious rumors wherever it went, and Alexandra and I finally got in to see it ourselves. Okay. So now we're playing Anastasia. For a long time now, my sister and I have been dreaming of attending Lars Puppet Show to learn why it's so mysterious. Play Bill. Don't miss out. Buy a ticket for the world's most unique puppet show. Lars the Puppeteer will capitate your mind, body, and soul. Yeah, I imagine that's a very literal thing. I'm certain he thinks he's being funny with that. Hurry up, ladies and gentlemen. The show is about to begin. The performance is about to start. Alexandra and I struggled to get here. We just can't miss it. Hmm, maybe the cream on the rust? Yes. Looking at this muddy water, it's probably been stagnant for a while. I better drain it. The cart is tightly nailed, however, it won't stop me. I wonder why those things are up there. The pump works from applied pressure, but at the moment there is nothing to press. There's so, so many sharp metallic things that it's easy to get hurt. Hopefully no one's going to be upset we just dumped a whole bunch of yucky water. Oh, there's a drain right there, never mind. look like lockpicks. That's what we kept. Boom. And you say open because of that. Okay, so it was just that one thing. So let's go and put in the tickets so we watch the show. Performance Plaza. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most anticipated and unusual puppet theater of all time. Hey, wait! Bring them back, you creep! Did you see that? That's why nobody can talk about his show. 
Everyone who sees it gets turned into a puppet and kidnapped. Which is exactly what happened to you. We need to find out where he went and rescue his victims. Take this and let's go. Alexander's right. I need to follow Lars and save the poor spectators. Interestingly enough, Conjurer's top hat, the intro scene where you show this has us in the audience watching one of his shows. Clearly that's not how she gets turned into a puppet, because they would have known better than to watch the show. This puppet stage looks empty for a performance. Oh, it looks like a pinhole camera. I only need a box with a small hole to copy the image. And here's your banana. Good thing we were late for the show, though. Or both of us would have been in that position. Good polish and remove unwanted details and give it an aesthetic appearance. This pecky bird is sitting there and doesn't want to show what's tucked inside its beak. As experienced travelers, we know we shouldn't go to unfamiliar places without a map or a companion, especially if we visit the forest. Fair enough. Oh. Magnet. Where do I need a magnet? Okay, there's something I can do in both areas. Rubber patch and a saddle. Well, I know where the saddle goes. See, it's one of these puzzles. I got the yellow in. Very nice. Okay, so how do I get this moving? I need to get you here. Come on. Oi. So annoying. Anyhow. I'm not sure if that helps. <laughs> Wait. 
I am so, so behind because I totally overdid the time. Yeep. Uh, this is Curtain Call. If you enjoy the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know if I went below a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye.